You want to watch Zombie Go Boom episodes a month in advance? Just go to zombiegoboom.com. So the name of the game is what if there's a guy that's into LARPing or into historical European martial arts and he's wearing chainmail, but he's not that amazing so he ends up turning because a zombie's able to bite him somewhere, maybe the face or whatever. How hard is it going to be to kill that guy once he becomes a zombie? Well, only one way to find out. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mix Mythbusters with The Walking Dead? We are Zombie Go Boom! Filmmakers and zombie survival enthusiasts. Using our scientifically accurate zombie heads, we put retail weapons, homemade weapons, and everyday objects to the test in order to see what will save you during the zombie apocalypse. Survive, protect, and kick undead ass! Hey, what's up survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. We're here again with Crazy Russian Hacker. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Let me show you what we have. We have a 1917 cutlass sword here. We have some flying steel throwing knives. These are north winds, these two. Then we have an east wind. We have a Sakari, a knife designed by RC, the combat knife thrower. We also have Charles's Damascus Katana. We have a military grade machete and we have the cold steel Chinese war sword machete and I bet you're wondering what are we going to do with all these epic weapons? Well, right over there we have a Tim head with a chain mail coif and we'll see if this can save a zombie. I, I guess that's it, that's what we're doing today? Yep, I, let's, I let's so. chop it up and see if some of that will kill it. Yeah, let's do it. Too. That was awesome. That's, awesome! That's the energy you want to have. So the no spin knife throwing technique is nothing to just laugh about. It's amazing and it managed to cut through, literally cut through these chainmail rings and it went into the zombie. Sadly, it only went in about a half an inch so that's definitely not enough to kill it. So as you can see, it split that ring in half and that allowed the knife to actually go through the chain mill and injure our zombie. Though, a lot of the energy was lost in the process and we don't have a kill. But if you're a person, you are super injured. Hospital trip. Let's see if another knife can actually do better. Alright, so I thought I was going to have a better chance with the east wind here, but as it turns out, even though I hit point, it didn't split any of the rings, it probably hit more of the surface area of the chainmail and bounced back. Uh, the tip bent just a tiny bit, but maybe the first shot was a fluke. I have one more knife I want to test and we'll see if knife throwing is actually something that you should be doing if you see a zombie wearing chainmail. I don't know. Well, it looks like it went in about three and a half inches, maybe four inches, which is great, but there's no blood on the knife. The reason why is because it punctured through the coif, but then it deflected around the back of the skull. So basically it went into the skin and around the skull through the rest of the skin. So if you're a human hospital, if you're a zombie, you're still okay. I really do think though if I hit it a little closer to the temple area that I'll get a kill with this. So we're going to try it one more time. Yeah. 
All right, so this is actually it hitting the skull and not going around it, which means we did not get even close to as much penetration, but let's see if we made it into the cranial cavity, shall we? It's a little bit stuck. We got a little bit of blood. So that means we went into the skull and probably penetrated into the cranial cavity about a centimeter. So this is arguably a kill, probably not. Well, as you can see, RC, the combat knife thrower, Sakari, is a sick weapon, but it's just not sick enough to get through chainmail and kill a zombie, so we're gonna have to try something else. Mr. Fultz, what do you have in mind? Well, I think we should try out this 1917 Cold Steel Cutlass. Yeah, that might have a shot. Might. Let's, Let's do it. All right, here we go. 45 degree angle strike to the top of the head. Let's do it. Nope. Scratched it. I mean, got through the skin layer, but no blood on the weapon, no blood coming out of the head. But we did cut a lot of these rings, so the chainmail is quite compromised at this point. And the blade is also, I don't know if you can see that, there's a few little nicks in the blade there. All right, Taraz, what do we have next? We got military grade machete. Let's do this. Let's do it. Right in the back of the head, right here. All right, let's go. Whoa! I broke the skull a little bit though. You did? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. It, do it doesn't look like it went into the cranial cavity, but it definitely broke a big piece of the skull right off. But, like we've said time and time again, the head is spherical, so what seems to have happened is the machete went through the chainmail into the skin and then just sort of started to rotate and deflect around that skull. Yep. I didn't killed it, but I chipped it a little. Yeah, yeah, good shot, man. I mean, through chainmail, through the skin layer, and into skull. That's a good machete for sure. All right, next we have the Chinese war sword machete, and I'm gonna be striking this area right here since that chainmail has not been compromised just yet, but that is about to change. <laughs> so more rings exploded out and that's it that's all that happened if you're a person that hurt like a mother if you are a zombie you're cool totally fine all right so as you guys can see this coif is completely compromised the surface area has a ton of holes in it except for this area right here where the neck is so we will be attempting a decap but we need a sweet weapon to do that with so charles what do you have in mind well i got this 2000 layer damascus katana let's see if it has what it takes Well that strike was perfect. It hit right in between two of the vertebrae, which is exactly what you want when you're doing a decap. Problem is, this chainmail kept it from going very far at all. Obviously, this is the most amount of rings 
that we were able to take off today. But in order for him to be able to have completed his decap, he would have had to have cut through the remaining rings and into the spine, which is sadly not going to happen. All of these weapons are basically overkill weapons, and yet, with a little bit of chainmail on your head, you're pretty well protected. And for those of you wondering, the blade actually did cut through some of the links. It didn't just spread them apart. It actually did cut through. So that's pretty awesome. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If it wasn't for Crazy Russian Hacker, we wouldn't be able to do this awesome stuff. The slow-mo, the coif, and everything else that we're doing is provided by him. And we're also on his channel doing some really epic stuff. So make sure you check it out. Link's in the description below. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.